The recording of this race is sponsored by JB Transmission. Specializing in foreign and domestic repairs, trust JB for all your performance needs. Check us out at www.jbtransmission.com or visit us at 256 St. Mary's Road in Winnipeg. The recording of this video production is sponsored by RD Sales and Service Limited. We service what others sell. For all mechanical repairs, trust our professionals. RD Sales and Service is a proud sponsor of the number 17 Super Truck and Sprint Car. Is the 57 car of Kevin Sexton. He leads the point race. He's up on number two, Ward Emery, by five points. So this should be a dandy, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this one. Now, the guy that has won the most in this division has been in the uh, winner circle three times, has been Ward Emery. Let's see if he can do it again tonight. Rob Como looks him over. Green flag, baby. We are a uh, racing. Ward Emery on the inside. Kevin Sexton sneaks around him, takes the lead early on. Danny Staff in second, battling it out with Ward Emery. Ward Emery, though, goes back to the inside. He's fighting it out with Kevin Sexton on the front shoot. He falls back a couple spots. Kevin Sexton finding some success on the outside of the track. Making their way around turn four, your leader, the 57 of Kevin Sexton. Up next behind him is the 7 of Danny Staff, followed by the 10W of Ward Emery. Driving high on the back track, it's the 74 of Dustin Wall. He manages to get control and almost cuts off the 20X of Darian Boyce. We've got 12 laps to go in your modified feature. Oh, we got a spinner on turn one and two. It's Lee McRae. Spinning out on turns one and two. We've got a yellow flag, ladies and gentlemen. Your leader just after three laps of racing, it's the 57 of Kevin Sexton. And like I was telling you earlier, Kevin Sexton is the points leader going into this race tonight. Looking to expand his five point lead on Ward Emery who is hot on his heels in third place in this race. Ward Emery, though, is still looking for his first track championship here at Red River Co-op Speedway. He was telling me earlier in the season he had a slip out of his grasp last year on the last race of the season, hoping that won't be the case this year. Maybe he can be the one sneaking in from behind and capturing his first ever track championship. He needs to do some action here tonight and get ahead of the 57 car in order to do that. Let's see what happens here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, pedal to the metal. We are all racing. Ward Emery making his way up. He's in second now, and he's challenging for first on the back stretch. Ward Emery and Kevin Sexton. Ward Emery takes the lead. As they make their way around turn four and head into turn one. 
Ward Emery in control and in the lead. He's gaining some massive lead here on the 57 car. Kevin Sexton and Danny Staff battling it out for second and third. And then we got a pile of cars battling for fourth through eighth. And it's the number 74 car again going on the back roadway. Maybe heading home, I don't know. And the 74 car stalls on turn number three. We are going to have another yellow flag. Some problems on the number 74 car of Dustin Wall was having it on the back straightaway and ended up going on the back roadway where the drivers drive in and out uh, to start the evening. And uh, yeah, just ended up on turn number three. Lots of exciting action here tonight at Red River Co-op Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ken Clayton. I am filling in tonight for the uh, very talented Pat Mooney and Darren Pallon, who uh, couldn't make it here tonight. And uh, I was asked nicely by Blair Bodley to fill in, and I was very happy to. He said I was the last guy on his list. This video production is brought to you by Pack and Away Mobile Storage. We bring the storage unit to your door, pack it at your place, and store it at ours. Pack and Away Storage is a division of Highway Number One Self Storage. We are proud supporters of the Number Two NLSA Sprint Car and Number Twenty X Modified. Ten laps to go in your modified feature. Your leader in this one is the 10W of Ward Emery. In order for him to take a jump in the standings tonight, he's going to need something to happen to that 57 car of Kevin Sexton in order for him to make up some ground in that modified feat of, uh, point standings. So Ward Emery is looking for a little bit of luck and a feature win tonight in order to make up some ground in that very, very tough race. Just another interesting note for all of you racers out there. Uh, Kevin Sexton driving the 57 car has not picked up a feature win yet this year. Still looking for win number one, and he's currently first in the point standings. So uh, some great racing, great consistency all year long from him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the big boss here with us here at Red River Co-op Speedway. What an amazing race in the super stock class. Walt Morris, win number three this year. What's the secret has been so far? Well, you know what? Uh, pit crew, crew chief, Barry Dawson, Cam McCall, uh, been with me for a long time, and that's, that's been the part of it. It wasn't a pretty win, and I, I really apologize to Rick, Rick Foss. He just got a little sideways. I, lock, I locked up my binders as much as I could, and uh, away we went. Uh, we got the victory. We're going to talk to you in a second, Walt. We're going to continue on with the modifieds. Ward Emery, your current leader, needs to make up some ground in the modified point standings. Behind him, it's the seven of Danny Staff, and Kevin Sexton has now dropped down to third place. The 1R of Rick Delay not far behind, and the A1 is currently sitting in fifth spot. Ian Russo looking to make up some ground himself. Eight laps to go in your modified feature. Coming around, turn number four, your leader, Ward Emery.
Cars are starting to spread out now in the back straightaway. Ward Emery having a comfortable lead, but Kevin Sexton trying to make his way around Danny Staff because he can't afford to have Emery jump too far ahead of him in the point standings. The A1 making some room and finding his way around the 1R of Rick Delane. Ryan Kerlick, who started the race all the way at the back, is now working his way closer to the front. He is currently in sixth spot. We've got five laps to go. Danny Staff in second place, followed by the 57 car, and the A1 making his way up the track is trying to catch up to Kevin Sexton, but your leader, rounding turn number four, with four laps to go is Ward Emery in the 10W. Oh, Darian Boyce trying to hold on. Looks like he's going to spin out on turn number one. We've got a yellow flag. Darian Boyce trying to gain, regain control as he's going around turn number one. Can't right the ship and, and ends up spinning out. That won't be good news for him in this race. Last year's points champion, Darian Boyce. Spinning out on turn number one. Now still with me right now is the street stock, pardon me, the super stock winner from this evening, uh, Walt Morris. Walt, uh, tell us about the, the car this year. I mean, you have three feature wins. You're doing quite well. Uh, what's going on with the car? Well, you know what? Again, it comes back to the uh, the crew, the crew uh, having that car ready every night, uh, running the late model this year as well. It's been very, very tough on us. And, uh, you know, I got to give them all the credit. Driving's one thing, and uh, that's probably where the biggest gain's been is uh, having Barry as the crew chief and Cam and and Chris and uh, Ryan uh, helping out. That, that's been the biggest part of it. I want to thank the fans, the fans sticking it out tonight. Thank you very much. Way to go. Good job out there tonight, hanging in the rain. And uh, we're looking for uh, hopefully get one more win out of this season yet. All right, I got a tough question for you coming up here. That last lap was tricky. Tell us what you saw from your perspective as you were going around so people understand what happened out there because you were running second for the entire race, had a great race, and I'm sure you would have been happy no matter which way that one turned out. You know, ab absolutely. I would have been happy with second place, and uh, Ricky just got a little bit sideways there, and I was at full speed, and, I, you know, I, again, I locked up the binders as hard as I could, and uh, it just touched them enough to send them. You know, when you're doing 80, 90 miles an hour, you're, uh, it's, it's going to take the car off a little bit, and I didn't want to do that. I, I checked up on lap three for him. Uh, to, to keep going, and we just could have finished first, second, it would have been fine. Uh, so, you know, here we are, and uh, again, I apologize to Rick right after the race, and uh, it's a tough one, it's a win, but uh, I I'm, I'm certainly like to be more sportsman than that. And that's part of racing that we see every single year. So, um, yeah, it's part of the, the racing uh, community, and that happens, and we all know that. Just want to ask you a little bit about the Speedway this year. It's been a great year of racing. Are you happy with what's going on here at the track? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it's been great, great racing, great track conditions. Um, here we are again tonight, giving it in and not missing any. We're not missing any races, and uh, we got a couple more to go, so I want to thank everybody again for coming out, and we've been very happy with what's going on. Look for World of Outlaws to come twice next year for uh, late models and sprints, if we can do it. World of Outlaws. Thank you, Walt Morris. Great race tonight. Three laps to go on your modified feature. Ward Emery leading the way, ladies and gentlemen. Danny Staff in second place. And the 57 of Kevin Sexton sitting in third. Ward Emery with a comfortable lead in third place. You cannot complain when you got a lead like that. Two laps to go. Danny Staff in second. 57 of Kevin Sexton in third. The A1 of Ian Russo in fourth. Rick Delane's 1R in fifth. And Lee McRae, driving the nine, is in sixth place. We have white flag, baby. That means we've got one lap to go. Lee McRae rides high on the track in this one. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, it's the 10W of Ward Emery. Danny Staff in second. Kevin Sexton third, the A1 and the 1R look like they're fourth and fifth, and Darian Boyce looks like he is in sixth place. Ladies and gentlemen, a great night of racing here at Red River Co-op Speedway. We hope you enjoyed what you saw here tonight. Thank you from everybody here at the track. We can't do this without your support, so please 
help support this speedway by coming out each week. From all of us here at Red River Co-op Speedway, thanks for coming out and have yourself a wonderful, safe evening.